Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today you are in my kitchen. Today we are going to be making brownies from scratch because I'm a baker. School has really been kicking my ass lately. Remember that video I made about like staying in school, doing your homework? I don't remember. It's gonna be in the eye if you wanna check it out, so click that. Don't listen to me. Don't go to school if you don't wanna go to school. Don't stay in school if you hate it. Just don't do it, you know? Long story short, it's stressing me out. So what I'm gonna do is bake because I'm a baker. So I got my laptop here with a nice recipe that I found online. It's the very first one that I saw actually. And I've got all my ingredients over here. Wait, that didn't really change anything. I have all my ingredients over here. Let's just, you know, get into it. I don't like that. So number one, it says preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, oven's on. Line the bottom and sides of an eight inch or nine inch square baking pan with aluminum foil or parchment, leaving an overhang on all sides to easily lift the brownies out of the pan when cool. I found this. Don't know what size it is, but we're just gonna deal with it. Does it matter what side you put up or down? I don't know about you, but I'm a baker. Set aside. With a handheld or stand mixer. I have to do an electric one. Fitted with a paddle attachment. So, a spatula. Beat the butter on high speed in a large bowl until smooth and creamy. Large bowl, we need our butter. It just need a third of a cup. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? It says that it's supposed to be softened to room temperature. I just let it sit out for a quick sec. Third of a cup. How am I supposed to know? I'll just guess. It won't be a problem though, because I'm a baker. This seems right. Okay, that seems right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Is there a point in using the handheld? I don't know what to do, man. I'm gonna chop it up into small pieces. Okay, so so far, chopping it up is not bad. But my friend was like, you don't need to listen to those steps. It doesn't change anything. Huh, I should've just microwaved it. This is progress. Until smooth and creamy. I mean, it's getting there. Oh my God, it's like going to the gym. Okay, it's smooth, but it's not like whisked. You know, is it gonna matter? Probably not. And sometimes if you have a lot of skill, it doesn't matter if you follow the rules or not. So I think I'm in the clear. Add the brown sugar and it's just half a cup it says half a cup packed light brown sugar. I only have dark brown sugar, but it's okay. Okay, there's lots of chunks in here. So we're just gonna do that and add a little bit more. I guess I'm adding a lot of brown sugar. Oh, so we're gonna mix that. It's so hard. There's literally chunks. That's cheating. They don't want me to succeed. It says until creamed. You know, yo, like I'm not doing bad. Look. Not doing bad. Yo, see, look at me. I'm freaking awesome. Look at that. And then we just add the eggs and the vanilla extract. And the eggs are supposed to be room temperature. Two large eggs at room temperature, like what the frick? Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Well, I don't have pure, I have artificial. Cause the only thing you can find in the city is a bunch of fakes, so. That's one, that's two. And then my eggs. Yeah, I'll wash my hands. Mix until combined. Look at it, it's not going too well. What if I tried to pretend to be like a mixer? I'll listen to that. 
Yo, I'm getting veins. Ew. Look at it. Can you see that? Can you? Eh. Eh. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's guesstimate again. We'll say that's half. That seems right. Let's just use the entire jar because there's not a lot left anyways. Here's our huge pack of flyer. If you get the reference, you're freaking a bomb or something. Mixing just until combined, do not over mix. And then if using chocolate chips, fold them in. I feel like I'm not gonna have enough Nutella, so I'm gonna add, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm gonna add some of this extra rich chocolate milk mix. It's um for assistance. We're just gonna add a little bit, not even a quarter cup. If it tastes, if this ends up tasting really good, it's because of that. Not even kidding. Not even joking around with you. I'm being dead serious. I'm gonna mix the flour in first, and then I found we have some semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of that. Mixing in flour is the hard part, but it looks super satisfying. It looks almost like those crinkles. <laughs> this looks good, what the heck? Look at, that's nice. I'm. I'm a baker, fold it in. We'll just add a bit. Oh, that's too much for my liking. Okay, what next? Uh, pour the batter into prepared baking pan. Drop teaspoonfuls of the remaining quarter cup of Nutella on top and then sprinkle top with a sprinkle of sea salt. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have sea salt. The soda is left in this jar. I'm sorry if I just stop talking randomly. I just get very concentrated, very into it. This is the final result before it goes in the oven. Not too bad for a baker, you know. <sighs> Bake the brownies for 32 to 36 minutes. What the freak? Okay, I'll put mine in for 34. That's a long time for brownies. Do brownies always take that long? Okay, I put them in the center of the, the middle rack. Okay, so if you see my timer is on, you can see me. Can you see? Okay, I'll get back to you in half an hour. Hi everyone, I'm back. So the brownies are here. They actually look pretty good. I let them cool. I don't even know how long they've been cooling, but they've been cooling. I have a plate here. Hey, swag. Okay, this is... Ah. Ah. You know what, I'm gonna leave it on the foil for now. Let's give you some real nice close-ups. Let's get a corner piece. So this is what it looks like. There you go. This is what it looks like. They're chewy. It's actually a pretty good consistency considering the fact that I did not really follow what it told me to do. Mm. Anyways, thanks for watching me bake. If you want to see more baking videos, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want me to make next if you want. Otherwise, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Turn on the notifications if you want to know when I'm posting my next Florida vlog. Because I don't know when. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. That's alright. Hush. Mm.